Turning our focus to Kuala Lumpur now, following Pyongyang's lack of cooperation in the murder case of the half-brother of the regime's leader, Malaysia has taken some strong measures towards Pyongyang, with the latest one being expelling North Korean diplomat from the country. He has complied with the order and departed on Monday evening. Yu Shin, give us the updates. Relations between North Korea and Malaysia continue to fray after the murder of Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Malaysia ordered Pyongyang's ambassador Kang Chol to leave the country by Monday evening, declaring him a persona non grata. Kang's expulsion came after he failed to appear at the Malaysian foreign ministry when summoned, which was prompted after he said Malaysia's investigation into Kim Jong-nam's murder could not be trusted. Following the order, North Korea's Korean Central News Agency reported later on the same day that the Malaysian ambassador to Pyongyang was also being expelled from the regime. However, the Malaysian envoy had already been recalled to Kuala Lumpur last month. Malaysia has also canceled visa-free entry for North Korean travelers, a policy which took effect on Monday. The visa restrictions will be affected immediately after in consideration of the security of our sovereignty. Amid rising tensions, the North Korean suspect was released and then deported last Friday. Lee jong chul is demanding an apology and compensation from the Malaysian government for what he called mistreatment. Ri has denied any link to the murder case and told reporters that the evidence collected by the Malaysian police was fabricated to hurt Pyongyang. They try to trample on the dignity of North Korea, and as a citizen, I can't let them do that. But the Malaysian authorities said they treated Ri like any other suspect. North Korean ruler's half-brother was murdered three weeks ago at Kuala Lumpur International Airport. So far, two Southeast Asian women have been charged, and six North Korean men are considered suspects or otherwise wanted in connection with the killing. Four of them reportedly flew back to Pyongyang on the day of the attack. With the investigation still underway, Malaysia hasn't officially blamed North Korea for the killing, while Pyongyang said Malaysia is in fact responsible for Kim's death. Yun Shin, Arirang News.